Hi, this is Abigail Domingo from QAPA Batch 10 and today we're going to discuss QAPA Experience Activity 3 which is 7 QC Tools Unlock. So for this activity, we are going to create an example of cause and effect diagram. And before we do that, let's explain first what is a cause and effect diagram. It is a graphical tool for displaying a list of causes associated with a specific effect or problem. And it is also known as a fishbone diagram or an Ishikawa diagram, which is created by Dr. Karo Ishikawa, an influential quality management innovator. The graph organizes a list of potential causes into categories. The cause and effect diagram shown here happen to have six branches, which is manpower, machine, method, material, measurement, and mother nature. As I mentioned, Fishbone Analysis Diagram is a simple tool that is used by Six Sigma professional to understand the root cause of a problem. So by this technique, we can identify the areas due to which the quality is not achieved. Now, let's see a practical example where this Fishbone Analysis Diagram is used. Every company faces latecomers in their office. Repeated warnings and excuses have become a routine in an organization. So why does an employee come late to office? The causes can be identified with the help of fishbone analysis diagram. And these are the factors with, which can affect the timing of an individual for office. So number one, people. We have children or elderly people at home feeling demotivated to come to office, feeling lazy or feeling tired and sleepy. So number two for method, method by which the employee comes to office, waking time and alarm clock malfunctioning, route from home to work or distance from home to work. And for number three, measurement, this is the lack of motivation through incentives at work, bonus, late while dropping the children to school. And for number four, we have machine, machine not working, malfunctioning of certain machines like alarm clock, copy machines, breakdown of car or train. And for number five, uh, we have weather conditions. Or we can also call this for environment, rain, fog, traffic jam, and holidays can also affect the time taken by an employee to reach office. And number six, for materials, basic materials like food, clothes, petrol, and electricity may cause late coming to office. This type of analysis gives a clear picture for the situation. Hence, an employee can try to control certain factors by identifying the reason for coming to late to office. Once these factors are identified, they can be eliminated and can result in coming on time to office. This Lean Sigma tool can solve a basic problem that an organizes faces in daily life. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching.